So I welded these four pieces on yesterday, and I have yet to see how much effort is going to be required to remove these shafts now. So prior to welding, I jammed these assemblies with some shims underneath to try and hold them in place to try and minimize the uh, distortion between the two sides. So these are in three pieces, so the two end ones, and then this piece is supposed to be able to rotate on the shaft, and this one is set up the same way. So I'd like to get these shims and stuff out of here. Okay, so with all of the shims and the supports out of here, this is the piece that I think was in here before. And it's a pretty tight fit. But that one, it does fit over here with a little bit of resistance. So I think maybe I can sand this one a bit. And this one is actually longer by a, by a bit. So it doesn't fit in here, and it doesn't fit in here. So I think I'm going to, I'll start by uh, I guess making this one shorter.
So after a while of grinding, it was getting pretty hot, even through my gloves. So I went and I cooled it off in the snow and then went back to the grinder. And I think I went back to the snow to cool it off at least three times. And even now it's a little bit warm. So I'd like to smooth this side off now. This is a piece of glass and I got sandpaper stuck to the glass. And I turn it a little bit after each stroke. looks better and uh, the other one I went to the grinder with it as well so I made it a little bit shorter so I'll sand this side as well so this side I had already sanded and it's not perfect there's still uh, saw marks in it but I figure if there's a few low spots here and there that'd be all right because it's just a little bit more area for grease to sit so I'll sand this side as well. So I was somewhat concerned about welding these in place, thinking that they could possibly get pulled out of position somewhat because of the welding process, which would make alignment of the pins possibly difficult. However, uh, it, it worked out in the end. So the alignment here is better than here. So, but uh, that, it'll be okay. So this one, this area here is where the rack engagement mechanism is supposed to go. And uh, so this one here where the alignment is not as good, I intend to um, mount uh, some linkage. So there it's, it's not so bad. So here's the pin going in this side. So I did some clearancing and stuff. Seems to be a nice fit. And uh, this one. So I've opened up the ends on uh, both of these so they're not quite you know uh, straight and round anymore I don't think so so a bit loose at first but when the pin is in seems to be a nice fit so I think that will be okay for uh, a linkage mount So I think it was in part four of this build series that I showed a part that looked like this. So that one was short and this one is a bit on the long side. So this is the updated version. So this unit is partially assembled. So when I put it in here, see I can't get it to rotate all the way past center. So it's a bit long. So I think a bit of clearancing 
should be able to get that going. So anyways, guys, that's another video. Thanks for checking out another one.